Whether you are new to iMovie or know your way around, editing videos can be fun and simple. In this video, I share with you three of my favorite iMovie tips. Welcome to my channel, I'm Cheryl with all things Cheryl Snell. I create videos centered around narcissistic abuse, faith, God, and life. If you are new, I hope you enjoy your time here and consider subscribing to my channel. Let's jump right into today's video. If you have watched any of my other videos, you will know that I love using the rewind effect and I also love adding filters to my clips. And you can see right here, um, of course we do have a filter added. And on this clip right here, I added this comment from Facebook and this is considered an overlay. So I love adding these to my videos and I will show you step-by-step step how we do it. But let's listen to this rewind effect and then I will show you how we did the filter and the sound. Okay, so let's go back here. Okay, so how we got this clip right here, I usually do the rewind effect when there is something that I say. So say it, it would be this clip right here, but it's something that I really want the audience to really pay attention to, or it's something that I want to emphasize. So I will, of course, say play this. It's what I want you to hear. And then I'm going to rewind it because I want you to hear it again so then I will actually replay that same clip so how we get here is since this is already edited I'm just gonna go right up here and I will show you how we did all of these edits when I first do my editing I always take care of the cropping and I take care of the volume so what we are going to do here first is we are going to click on speed and and over here it's a drop down and we are going to click on custom and I like to use 550 but you can use whatever works for you we will go back over here and click on that to get out and over here we will click on clip filter and audio effects over here the audio effect that I have on this one is cosmic I super love this one for the rewind effect but just use whatever works for you you. Let's go ahead and get out of there. And then over here is the clip filter. We'll click on that. And there's lots of different filters that you can do for your video or whatever clip that you're doing. And in this case, it's the rewind, but I'm gonna just leave it as the blast. So we will have blast as the filter and then the audio effect is cosmic. We'll click on that to get out. And the last thing that I do is I will click over here on color correction and you have different choices I what you want to do for the clip this one right here is going to be the temperature for this clip I just left it alone I didn't adjust anything on this one right here you can adjust the saturation but again I just left it alone now I did play around with the brightness so you can see we um, we kind of had some fun over here but do what's fun for you just kind of take some time and sit down and really play around with iMovie so now when you play it you are going to have it be a lot faster and you are going to see the filter that I put on there. I also add the rewind sound. I think of that in combination with the cosmic effect. I think that that sounds really good for the rewind. Okay, so the last tip that I will show you, of course, is the overlays. How I did this is this right here is just a comment from Facebook. And what I did was I took a screenshot, I cropped it, and then I 
airdropped it to my laptop and I imported it into iMovie. Since I already have it in the clip, I'm not gonna bring it down, but this is how you would do it, is just kind of click on this and bring it down and you would lay it on top of the clip. So what we did here, I'm gonna click on here so you can see the yellow border is around it so you know that we are editing this clip. We will go up here and click on cropping. For this one, I left it on fit and then we'll go back up here and click on cropping to get out. And then for this right here, it says video overlay settings. You want to click on that. Now you do have options over here. For this particular clip, I went ahead and used picture in picture, but for you, just play around and see what you can come up with and what you like for your video. But we are going to leave it as picture in picture. And then over here, it actually just went to dissolve, but I like this zoom so we will leave it on zoom and then you have this over here which is basically your speed i'm gonna leave it as 0.5 then i'm gonna click right over here and then i'm gonna go ahead and play it so you can see how it appears over your original clip see how it comes in and you can adjust it so if you want it to play for the entire clip or if you're like you know i really just want to maybe have it for let's just say a second so let's play that okay that was kind of fast um let's make it a little bit longer so you can see it comes up and then it'll zoom out and again just adjust it to whatever works for you in your video. So now you know how to do the rewind effect with the filters and of course the audio effect along with this audio added as well. And you know how to now add an overlay and in this case we did the picture in picture. So I hope that these favorite iMovie tips help you on your iMovie journey. If you have any questions on editing, let me know in the comments below and I will answer the best I can. In next week's video, I share with you my number one hack to adding more than one overlay to a video clip. iMovie only allows for one overlay, but I will show you how to add more than one. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and watch me grow as a YouTuber while enjoying the content I create. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.